everybody having some fun yet? Hadn't this been a fantastic event? Somebody make some noise for all of our leaders who put this thing on. Man, I am super, super grateful to be up on this stage with all of you today, to be on the stage here in Memphis. See, I was born in this city. I grew up right across the bridge in West Memphis. See, I come from a pretty big family, and I can remember being kids, and we loved to get all together. We'd be at my grandparents' house, and we'd play games outside. So, of course, this was before Creed. This is before the, the Fortnite, and this is before the, the Roblox, right? We played games like red light, green light, right? Like games like, it was games like Simon Says, right? We played games like, like tag, like cops and robbers. See, my favorite game to play when we were kids was hide-and-go-seek. Anybody else like that game? And so, of course, you know how it's played. It's, it's, you get a group of people together, right? The bigger, the better. And the, you, you've got to figure out who's going to be it. Nobody wants to be it. Everybody wants to do the hiding, right? But somebody's got to be it. And the person who is it, their job is to go and do what? Go and find everybody else. And so you, you, you go and find the first person, and the way we played, that person, their, their job was, well, they were it next, right? And, and if you didn't find everybody before you ran out of time, then you got to be it again. That's the way we played, right? So nobody really loved it. And so you found yourself, and, and honestly to me, it, it feels just like entering into life Right, and coming out of childhood and going into adulthood, and then you figure out, man, I'm it, right? I'm the one that's it. And so you find yourself going into your corner, and you're one, and two, three, four, five, degree, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, job. And then one, two, three, four, five. Five, marriage, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, kids. And all along there's this feeling inside of you that you are still missing something, right? You're still looking for something and you know that the time has not run out, but you still hadn't found it all, right? Anybody ever had that feeling? You know, sometimes I, I look at that and I, I say, how perfect of a picture is that of what life really kind of looks like? You, you know, sometimes success feels like it is the hardest thing to find. And if you do happen to find it, you win. And if you don't find it, guess what? You lose, right? And I tell you what my, my very favorite part about playing the entire game was. My, my favorite part, and maybe it was your favorite part too, but it happened after the person got done counting and before they started seeking, right? And this person would yell out, somebody knows, ready or not? And so for the rest of the time that we spend together, I need you guys to help me out and be good audiences, provide some good energy. And every time you hear me say ready or not, I want to hear you say here I come as loud as possible, okay? Is that fair enough? So let's try it. Ready or not? Yeah. Ready or not? Yeah. You know, I, I, I can remember my, my, my five-year-old. And now, then he was three, Judson, middle name Memphis, actually. And he came to me and he said, Dad, I'm ready. I, I want to play ready or not, here I come. And, and honestly, I put this little smirk on, on my face, and I'm like, I got ready to correct him. And, and to be honest, I couldn't. Because I understood exactly why it is that he said, Daddy, I want to play ready or not, here I come. Because if we're honest, that's when all the action actually happens, right? That's when the fun actually gets started. And so I learned really, really quickly as a child, that the fastest way or the best way to actually catch somebody is to, well, catch that person while they're actually trying to hide. And so instead of going one, two, three, I finally got to the point where it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ready or not? Ready or not? 
And I can remember my favorite cousin, she was by me, and she walks past me, and she, she turns at me, and she looks, and I guess she was trying to hide, and she says, that's not fair. You're not supposed to count that fast. You're supposed to count one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. And I didn't know it then, but looking back on it, I realized that my favorite cousin was really a secret operative for corporate America. You know, you've heard it before. It's taken you too long. You got that done too fast. You don't have the right degree, right? Is there anybody in the room that is sick and tired of somebody telling you, you can't count that fast? Is there anybody in the room that is sick and tired of someone else telling you, you can't count that fast. See, I remember looking back over at her and I, as clear as day, and I said something that I remember forever. I said, you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me how to count. I'm the one counting. And besides, we live in Arkansas. Why would I care about Mississippi anyway? Can somebody look over your shoulder and tell the person behind you, I'm the one counting. See, I remember coming into this, this company, Symmetry Financial Group, and at that point in life, I was completely ready to give up, completely hopeless, looking for what was going to be next, working 90-hour weeks, no time for my kids, missing football games. And lo and behold, I knocked on the right door. Ready or not, Brad Smith answered the door while I was playing hide-and-go-seek for money selling steaks. Ready or not, Ready or not, I knocked on that door and did, did not know that SFG was going to be right for me. And I didn't know if, if I was going to be right for SFG, but ready or not. Yes. See, I didn't come in here my best self. Absolutely not. I actually came in here with, a, with an ego that was bigger than Edward Pritch's house. I came in the room with a 460 credit score and a negative $500 in my bank account. But ready or not, yes. ready or not. If you heard about my start, you say, how did he make it? Everybody thought I was going to quit. I was going to give up. Everybody thought, man, this is, he, this is the worst example of how to get started here. But ready or not, yeah. ready or not. Yeah. See, I knew I wasn't my best self. I knew that I had some things that needed to change. And if I ever wanted to get unlimited options, because that's what this thing it was about. It wasn't about just making some money. Right? It, it was about not having to choose anymore, not having to choose between how much time I actually got to spend with my family and how much time I spent doing work, right? Between being a good parent, right, and, and paying the bills, between showing up for football or going out and making some money. I no longer wanted to make that choice ever again. Ready or not? Yes. Ready or not? Yes. See, this system does things for people and, and that you could never imagine it doing. This system will take a person who is broken and not ready for an opportunity, but give them a shot. See, all I ever wanted was a shot. I wanted my shot, not your shot, right? A chance to live my purpose, not your purpose. All I ever wanted was my shot and I found it here. And so as ridiculous as I was, as bad as I was on the phone, I decided to plug into some personal development. I decided to listen to audios over and over and over and over again until where I could recite those things verbatim. And guess what? You look up and you realize six months later, $249,000 in personal production. You realize 10 months later, you're an agency that ends up being the number one rookie agency for the year. You end up being the number one agency in your master. And then you end up being the number one agency in symmetry. Ready or not? Yes. Ready or not? Yes. See, what I want to leave you with is you are the only one who can decide when you are ready. Nobody else. Nobody can decide when you are ready. And even if you don't feel like you are ready, please stand up and declare with me, ready or not? Yeah. Ready or not? Yeah. Ready or not? Yeah. Have a good one.